Hello viewers, today we are going to talk about Machine Learning 101 and myself Manikanteshwar of Garla Party, I am a Senior Data Scientist with Walmart Labs. I have rich experience in Machine Learning, Deep Learning, Computer Vision and Artificial Intelligence. What, are, what is Machine Learning and its applications? Uh, so let's first understand difference between AI, ML and Deep Learning. So Artificial Intelligence refers to incorporating human intelligence to machines. Broadly, it is can be classified into two categories, open-ended and closed-ended. So open-ended would mean that you can ask any question to an AI system and it will be able to interpret and reply back. Closed-ended AI systems are built basically for a specific domain or a vertical. Machine learning. Machine learning refers to empowering computer systems to learn the pattern of trends in the data. Like the terminology says, it's all about making a machine learn the data so that when a new data is given to the machine, it is able to predict the outcome with a certain probability. Machine can be broadly classified into supervised and unsupervised techniques. Supervised machine learning techniques would require a training data, whereas unsupervised can automatically find patterns from the data without the need of any training data. Deep learning. So deep learning algorithms are inspired by the information processing patterns in the human brains. How information passes between different neurons in a similar fashion, artificial neural networks have been built with different layers where different weights get computed in between them in order to analyze the input it receives for a determined output. And all of this requires something called as foundational data science. And so as you can see, deep learning is a subset of machine learning, which in turn is a subset of artificial intelligence. Applications of machine learning. Machine learning algorithm can help you recommend the right set of items when you shop on Amazon or Flipkart. Machine learning can also help you to reach your destination on time whenever you use your Google Maps with real-time data feed. Machine learning can also help you to get the desired food when you order on your food delivery partners like Swiggy, Zomato, etc. Journey in Analytics So not only individuals but different organizations also need to journey in the field of data science. So they, they need to eventually mature and have different capabilities developed over time. Both individuals as well as organizations will need to start from something a brace called as descriptive analytics. Descriptive analytics is all about telling what has happened in the past, bringing out patterns and trends from the data. As they mature, they need to move towards something called as predictive analytics. Like the terminology says, it's all about predicting what can happen in the future based on past trends or patterns. The next phase is called as prescriptive analytics. Like how a doctor would diagnose his patient, understand what the disease is and predict what can happen if untreated. Similarly, uh, he, uh, he even a data scientist need to prescribe their clients while solving business problems by predicting what can happen in the future by analyzing their past data. Career options. Different individuals have different levels of verticals in the data science. So they need to progress from reporting to descriptive analytics towards prescriptive analytics or ML and AI. Reporting and descriptive analytics have similar set of rules, whereas predictive analytics and machine learning and AI have, have again have similar set of rules. The skills required for reporting would be like data manipulations, data management, data exploration, management information systems, ability to create reports, automate reports. In the descriptive analytics space, the skills would be required like segmentation, customer profiling, portfolio analysis, trend analysis, forecasting. Different roles that are available in the market across different product based and service companies are like management information systems analyst, data analyst, strategy analyst, cost analyst. In the pre to analytics space, the skills required are like ability to build probabilistic models, classification models, regression trees, Bayesian statistics. In the ML and AI area, the skills you would be required to develop are around building neural networks, convolution neural networks, recurrent neural networks, ability to build LSTMs, geospatial models, fuzzy logic, inductive logic programming. So these are the most advanced skills uh, that uh, as an individual you need to develop to be able to prosper in the ML and AI space. And the roles that are available in predictive analytics and ML and AI space are like data scientist, statistical analyst, advanced analytics team lead, market or global research analyst, analytics manager, vice president or director. 
and they are available with both product and service based companies and few of them are individual contributor whereas few are like team manager as a team manager you will need to mentor a team share knowledge within the team grow and mentor the team build project roadmap and etc but as a individual contributor you will have to work on the project hands on right from getting the data doing perform uh, analysis on the data building models validating and deploying and scheduling the models thank you if you are looking to start your career in machine learning you can check out manipal pro learns post graduate program at www.manipalprolearn.com hey thanks for watching do like the video and share it and also don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such videos and check out the exclusive coupon codes for our youtube learners in the description below and visit manipalprolearn.com to redeem them